depression is a ubiquitous and, and sometimes silent, sometimes loud voice in our society. I am the founder and the executive artistic director of Erasing the Distance, and my name is Bridget O'Shaughnessy. Erasing the Distance is a nonprofit organization that uses theater to get people talking about issues of mental health. We do that by gathering true stories from people just like you and me, and we actually get their real words down through audio taped interviews that we do, and then we shape those interviews down into performance pieces that are done by professional actors. So I'd love to tell you about our Depression and Families project. It is an opportunity for us to use theater to shine a light on how depression affects entire family constellations. So we're talking to mothers, we're talking to daughters, we're talking to fathers and sons. Rebecca is our daughter. Rebecca lived with and died from depression and bipolar disease. There really isn't any other way to get these stories out there than through theater, through the production, through the spoken word. I'm very excited about seeing different aspects of depression that, that can be suggested for different family members. The person who's experiencing depression, the person who's observing that person experiencing depression may be a family member who doesn't understand it at all. Erasing the Distance is known for our monologues, but with this show we're really breaking that style. Because we're talking to families, we don't want to just have one person, one person, one person. We want scenes, we want more integrated physicality. We'll be using a playwright to help us shape down the narratives, but all of the narratives will be based on people's exact words. We're going to have clinicians actually at the shows themselves because audience members may experience something and have something that they want to talk through with someone in that moment. And so we'll have folks there on site to offer support, which is incredibly helpful, as well as paper resources to give to people after the show who may not want to talk to someone right away, but want to know where they can go. We can teach and learn about what depression looks like not only in people who are designated as clients or patients, but all of us, and how we can respond more compassionately to those people. There's really a raising up of our culture that happens when we have honest communications and conversations about mental health and mental illness, and erasing the distance tells the truth.